I know you guys are going to be sitting for a while, so before I start, can everyone stand up? Now, will you all pat your heads like this? What you might not realize is that by patting your head, you're opening your chest and forcing your posture into the optimal position for breathing. Okay, so try again. Tell me, is it working? Yeah, yeah? Okay, stop. You look like fools. But, I mean, I appreciate your effort to participate. Go ahead and sit down now. I have a question for all of you. Why did you do it? Why did you give me something we hand out to very few people, your trust? What gave me that authority? Maybe it's because I was the one given the mic, so that must mean I have something worth listening to. Well, I hate to break it to all of you, but the requirements to present here tonight were pretty low. None of us have even graduated high school, so I'd be careful what information you choose to believe. And contrary to my title, I'm not here to discuss the end of the cat species. In fact, the end is not coming at all. We should be more worried about their uprising. Millions of outdoor cats function as an invasive species. My title was a lie, to show you how easy it is to say whatever you want. Whether it's your parents, teachers, politicians, or celebrities, anyone and everyone can lie. In fact, a study from Dr. Anastasia Tremaine found that 38% of what people between the ages of 18 and 25 say is a lie. Did I get you again? Anastasia Tremaine is the name of the evil stepsister from Cinderella. Fool you one time, shame on me, but fool you twice? You can relax now, that's the last of my tricks, and it's okay, I get it, people are gullible. I am too sometimes. In fact, because of how common that trait is, people have learned to use it to their advantage. Being able to influence others has become a full-time job, and it's not like anyone's trying to hide it. We call them influencers because we decided they are the people whose opinions we should trust. From makeup to perfume to any company who's willing to write them the biggest check, the job of an influencer is to promote. And even though we know there's lawyers and contracts going on in the background, we choose to ignore it and pretend that they would never lie to us. In 2022, influencers sold $3.6 billion worth of goods. It's so easy to believe something when it's fed to you by someone who you trust to be knowledgeable. A weakness of humans is our reluctancy to question what we're told. Luckily, parenting and education are shifting to turn kids into more critical thinkers. I wanted to see just how far we had come. I was inspired after reading about the ASH study. The ASH study took place in the 1950s. It took a group of five to seven people, all of whom were actors, except for one. All the actors agreed on a wrong answer to pretend was correct. Then the group was given a set amount of time and was told to come to a consensus. In the end, one third of the participants just went along with the group's answer. But again, this took place in the 1950s and a lot has changed since then, so I had hope. For my experiment, I took a group of five people, four of whom were actors. I did this test on seven different people. The actors all agreed that the match to the target line was B, even though the answer is clearly C. They did their best with their made-up, improvised knowledge, like, if you cover the other lines, C looks smaller. Not everyone was easily fooled. Do you wear glasses? Put them on. Similarly, it's like an optical illusion. It's not an optical illusion. You're blind. But still, even after all this not-so-respectful disagreement, four out of seven, which is the majority, just went along with the group's final and obviously wrong answer. Fake news thrives off of this aspect of humanity. We believe that the number of people saying something is the same thing as that information being true. 800,000 people read the article that Ginger is more effective at killing cancer than chemo. I know, right? Why isn't everybody stampeding to the stores? Okay, okay, to be fair, I can't say if all 800,000 of these people believed it, but I can say the next person to come along and see that large number might give the news a little bit more credibility. That's why it's so important to be careful of what you choose to like or repost. Just because it's on everyone's stories doesn't mean it's correct. Oftentimes we assume since so many people have shared it, somebody must have double-checked it along the way. But this isn't always the case. Like when teenagers online made and spread a story of Hillary Clinton running a human trafficking ring in a pizza restaurant, which to me sounds like an improv request, they underestimated the gullibility of humans. Because when people started to harass the owners of the restaurant, when someone brought a gun into the restaurant with the intention of fixing the problem themselves, it stopped being funny altogether. An attempt to be the hero of a story that only existed within social media. Have you guys ever seen people playing with a cat by shining a laser around the room? 
and we watch the cat endlessly chase it, thinking it's live prey, and we almost feel a little bit superior. In reality, humans, we're not so different. We love to believe any exciting bit of information that's dangled in front of our face. We are just as gullible. Cats may not be going extinct, but maybe humans' cat-like quality of acting before understanding should. Today is an era of being connected. All around the world, people are constantly posting themselves and their lives for the world to see. It has truly become a global world. By the time a rumor is said and spread at school, a trending post is shared to thousands or millions of times as many people. If we're constantly absorbing so much media, it's important to question what you see. And remember, the chances that everyone around you is gullible are not that low. You have to be your own fact checker. And that's just the cost of the people around you in the media only showing you the information you want to hear and the fact that you want to believe it. Thank you.